this is Monica. Welcome back to my channel, Suds and Bees. Today we are going to be making mini beer mug candles. Uh, to make the mini beer mug candles, we will be using a four, four ounce mason jar. I found these jars at the dollar store and I find that at the Dollar Tree is the cheapest place to find them. Um, if you buy them online after shipping and everything, they turn out to be way over a dollar. So uh, head out to your Dollar Tree and look for these mason jars. Uh, for the wicks, we're going to be using CD2. I have made a video uh, testing two different wicks with these jars. And CD2 uh, works very well with this jar and the mouth size of this jar. Uh, for the beer part of the candle, um, I will be using uh, gel wax. Gel wax, um, I found this big bucket uh, on the Walmart um, online site so you can get that there. I was not able to find it in, on Amazon so just head out to the Walmart um, website. And uh, to melt this um, I will be using uh, this container. This, uh, to melt the gel wax you have to melt it directly on the fire. You cannot use a double boiler because it will take a long time and I do not recommend using the microwave. I've not used it yet, but I have a feeling your container will explode uh, because of the amount of time it takes. So use it directly on the fire. Uh, to color um, the beer part of the mini beer mug, I'm going to be using, I don't know if you can see it there, um, Orange Gold Liquid Dye by Lone Star. Uh, this will go a long way. Um, I have made six of these before and I only had to use one drop so uh, we'll see how I can manage using a little quarter of a drop for two jars. Uh, for the foam part I will be using Soy Wax 444. Um, there's no uh, particular reason why I'm using Soy Wax 444. It's just because I have a lot of it and I want to use it up. Uh, for the scent, I'm only going to be scenting the foam and I will be using um, Light Lager by Aztec Candle and Soap Supply. Um, it does smell like beer, so I only want to scent the foam. Um, I don't think many people will light this candle because um, most people want it as decoration. But in case they do, we don't want to add uh, fragrance oil to the gel wax because sometimes the fragrance oil and the gel wax uh, change the aesthetics of the candle and also because we don't want people's homes to smell like beer so um, just adding it to the foam will be sufficient. In order to uh, glue my wicks to the jars I will be using a hot glue gun. So let me go ahead and uh, get the wicks on here and melt my gel wax and I'll be right back. See you soon. Okay, welcome back. Um, I have melted uh, the gel wax. I would bend it over and show you, but I don't want to get it all over the picture. Okay, so I will add half a drop of the orange gold. Hopefully I can add half a drop. There we go. Kind of like a drop, but really, let's see. Mix that in because I don't have a lot in there, and unfortunately, I don't have a smaller pitcher that I can use for this. That is going to be hard for me to hold it up. So, here we go. Pour the beer. And I am using 70 grams per jar. Each jar holds 100 grams of wax. So I only want to fill this up 70% uh, because we want room for the foam. And hopefully I didn't harden up too much and I have enough. And it looks like I'm going to have to go and reheat some of this because it got stuck on here. And that's what happens when you're only using a little bit. I'll be right back. Hi 
Hi, welcome back. Um, it is the next day. Uh, I made these really late last night. Uh, I decided to go to bed. I got tired. It was like 2 in the morning. Um, so it's been about 12 hours and these have completely solidified. Um, I actually think they turned out pretty cute, kind of an amber beer. Um, so I have melted here um, 40 grams of the Story Wax 444 because I'm going to be using 20 grams and 20 grams for the foam. I do want it to be a lot of foam. Um, that's why I put only 70 grams of the gel wax here. I want it to look like when the, um, the taps haven't been, um, they have too much air. I forget what it's called, but on the taps, there's something going on with the taps. There's a lot of foam um, on your beer. Uh, and if you notice this one, it's pretty cute. It's got a lot of bubbles in it. Um, I really like the way this one turned out. This one doesn't have so many bubbles. I think because I kept poking this one with a stick to try and straighten out the, the wick. But I, I really like the way that turned out. Uh, so here I'm going to put 10% of fragrance. This is the light lager. I am. I usually add 8% to all my candles, but here I will be using 10% because we are only adding fragrance to the foam. We're not adding fragrance to the gel wax because, again, as a reminder, I didn't want to interrupt the color. Uh, so we're going to be adding 4 grams. And I need to take the cap off. Well, well, well. I have to say I really enjoy how um, Aztec um, bottles their fragrance, at least the large fragrance bottles, they put this little spout here. So it's so much easier to pour. Oh, I can smell the beer. Now I want a beer. Okay, four grams. A little bit more. Come on, four. There we go. Four grams. Let me put that top back on. Keep this to the side. Wipe my hands. I'm going to stir this in very well. It's still, it's still kind of hot. So this we pour soy wax 444. Um, I have been uh, playing with it a lot and somebody suggested, you know, pour your fragrance in at 150 and then pour the wax into the container at 110 and that seems to give it a good scent throw and I found that um, they're right on the money. So I waited for this to cool down to 150. And with these waxes, soy waxes, always remember you have to stir them for a little bit so the molecules uh, really bind together. I'm not sure if anybody's going to be lighting these candles, but you never know. I will we'll light them. So I'm going to stir this and then I have to wait for this to solidify a little bit before I can start... Um, Stirring it again so it looks like foam. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, the wax has solidified and I grabbed a little whisk and I'm just mushing it. Just to make it um, look like foam. I should have done it when it was a little bit warmer, but um, I didn't. I was cleaning the pole, which is, it was a hot mess. A lot of leaves and dirt in there from the big winds. I don't know if y'all have a pole, but it is a lot of work. But in my opinion, it's definitely worth it. It'd be a lot more worth it if I had a heated pool, so then I can use it during the winter. But it's okay. The time is almost here where I can jump in the pool. Okay, so... 
You know, and I think I'm going to put it in the microwave just a little bit because I think I did wait too long. Just a few seconds. Okay, so I warmed it up a little bit just so it's a little more manageable. Yeah, a lot more manageable here. If you wait till it's too solidified, then it's a little hard to... Now, right here, I, I don't know if you can see. I don't know this guy is. I really need to get a light for here. You can see... Um, it's very manageable. And I think it is ready to start adding it. Now, because it is too solid, you obviously can't add it, can't just pour it in. So what I do is I grab a little spoon and just pour it in there. And then with my little stick, I help out um, the wax come off the spoon. And that just makes it a lot easier. I've tried several different ways, and that's, I just find that to be the easiest way. So you all can try whatever makes it easier for you, but I'm just giving you some tips. Ugh, I'm not patient with that. Okay, so we have our first beer here. And what I do is I just grab just a little bit. Just a little bit. You don't want to grab too much. And then drop it in. And you can clean the, the wick afterwards, so don't worry. You can clean the side of the jar afterwards with um, a paper towel with alcohol. But just make sure you adjust it in there. Don't waste any. You know, I think I'm going to use a spoon. It was a lot easier to eat. I don't know why I didn't do it with the spoon. The two spoons. Okay, put it in there. Push the wick around. And you see the wig is getting all full of wax, but that's okay. Again, you can clean that after. And remember, again, don't use it all up. and Make sure you leave some for the other candle. Now what I like to do is grab the jar. Let me go back out and go like this so it settles in so that way you're not poking the glass too much. Go in there with your little skewer, clean that up as much as possible. One, because it's less cleanup for you after and also you're not wasting uh, your wax. So just have like a little skewer, a little stick, and two spoons handy. Um, normally you don't have to do this if you do it on a regular size jar. Um, it's just because this one is so small. So, But I really like using the small ones. I just used the other one before we waste it. Um, I really like using the small ones because one, um, they're cute, and then also you're not wasting... I shouldn't say wasting, I shouldn't use that word. You're not using up too much of your wax. Um, if you're selling them, it's a whole different story, but I don't sell my stuff, so um, my materials are very precious to me because they cost money. So make sure to like and share so that I can keep buying materials to create content. See, I'm starting to solidify. <laughs> uh, okay, put it in there. Come on. It's all pretty nice. Try 
anything to waste it. Now, if you wanted more foam, you can do the 30%, um, which is 30 grams per, per jar. To me, I think this is a lot of foam. If you're a beer drinker, you know this is a lot of foam. This reminds me of, uh, like I said earlier, when the, the top is not working correctly. And your poor bartenders keep pouring the beer over and over into different glasses. Okay. And now if you don't want to scrape all this off, what you can do also is grab a heat gun and melt the top, which is what I think what I'm going to do. So let's grab my heat gun. Well, I am so hot. It's pretty bungy outside and cleaning the pool. It was not fun. Okay, so I grabbed my little handy dandy heat gun. Don't do over here, okay? Just do up here. Just to melt all this stuff off. Okay, you don't want to do it too much. You just want to soften it off enough to clean the top. See if we can have any more. I don't like to waste my wax. So I have a third of a bag left of this 444. I'm not sure I'm going to buy any more. Um, if y'all haven't tried the Joy Wax, oh, it's amazing. So, especially if you're a beginner, uh, the Joy Wax is great. It's really easy so I think I'll be using that I also like the I did a video on 30% uh, 464 and 70% 6001 so you can look at that look for that video um, and it really holds um, its fragrance both for cold and hot throw Um, so that. I also want to be experimenting with that, I think it's coconut wax and coconut and apricot wax. So that's like the new big thing now. So I'm going to be experimenting with those soon. And I'll make a video on that to see how my experience with it. Okay. So now it looks like a hot messy glass, right? You can leave it like this. I personally like to clean it up. Um, you can also add 30% more soy wax and um, have it spill over. That looks really cute too, but I'm going to be using these tops, so um, I don't want it spilling over. I'll just clean it. It's nice and clean. Make sure the wick is set nice and centered. Um, if there's wax on the wicks, just clean it off. And there we go. 
Draw nice and clean. You do want it to be like, you know, let's just a little bit more. And there we have it. You just made some small beer mug candles uh, with a scent of light lager. Thank you for watching. See you next time.